A young boy remains in intensive care after a crash on Christmas Day in Hanford killed his cousin and injured three other family members. Action News anchor Corey James joins us now live in downtown Fresno after speaking with the child's mother who says today is his 10th birthday. Corey. That's right, Warren. Louis Romero Jr., who loved ones call Kid, is recovering tonight in the hospital. They tell me there is some good news, though. The young boy who, who just recently was placed in the hospital on Christmas Day did have his drain tube removed from his head. He is also starting to open his eyes and even respond to family. Meantime, though, they say they are still searching for hope and help during this difficult time. He doesn't get to play with his friends. <laughs> He doesn't get to go play with his brothers. He doesn't get to see birthday cake. He doesn't get to do anything. On this day 10 years ago, Sandra Kelly says her son, Louis Romero, was born. He was born on the year 1224 in 2008. But instead of celebrating his birthday, the young boy is in the intensive care unit at Community Regional Medical Center fighting for his life. He's a little boy and he doesn't get to be a little boy anymore. Louis was in this car with his cousins when an SUV T-boned the family on Christmas Day in Hamford. Kelly says Louis was life flighted to the hospital, where he is now hooked up to countless medical machines and tubes. He has one in his chest, in his mouth, his head, his groin, everywhere. There's, he just looks like a bunch of wires. Loved ones say the fun-loving kid has an infection, brain damage, and is struggling to breathe on his own. A heartbreaking reality for this mom to see. I don't wish this on anybody. Not anybody. As for the recovery, Kelly tells us doctors are telling them it is going to be a long road. Now he has to learn to do everything again. It's just, it's just too hard. And the family says they are extremely thankful for the Terry House, which is where they've been staying during this entire ordeal. They also tell me they have set up a GoFundMe account and have planned a dinner fundraiser to help with unexpected medical expenses. We'll post a link on both of those on our website at ABC30.com. We're live in downtown Fresno. Corey James, ABC30 Action News.